Both teams have 35 Sweet 16 appearances, but only one will advance tonight. WFM News 2's Kevin Kennedy is in Philly tonight. Kevin, I'm sure fans are ready to go. Guys, it's uh, it's just getting exciting or inciting or inciting as we get closer to tip off time. The UNC pep rally in full swing right now. I'll step out of the way and you can see hundreds of folks are here outside the Wells Fargo Center for a pep rally that started about four o'clock just a little bit ago. The cheerleaders were here, the band performed, Ramsey's was here. Really a pretty large crowd, not only in this room, but then another room that's outside. I'll tell you, certainly North Carolina will be well represented here at the uh, Sweet 16 tonight. Earlier today, we went out on the streets to try to find some fans. We actually went to the team hotel. While we were at the team hotel, we stumbled across the North Carolina bus, and guess what? The players started walking out of the team hotel, getting ready to board the bus and go to a shoot around. So that was pretty exciting. We were able to see some of the players. One of the players that was getting on the bus is Dewey Ferris. Dewey's parents are Rip and Blair. They traveled here from uh, North Carolina. We spoke with them not only about their son, but also about tonight's game and this North Carolina team. We have lived in North Carolina. My husband's family is, uh, our son's a fourth generation Tar Heel athlete. So yes, from the minute I moved here 30 years ago, I've been a Carolina fan. It's been exhilarating. Uh, I'm so proud of what the coach has done to transform this team, to buy into his program. And you can see it, you can feel it. I just think uh, Hubert's done a phenomenal job and we're excited for tonight. A lot of emotions, pretty much everyone, you know, joy, exuberation, fear, you know, almost having a heart attack um, last weekend. But yeah, it's been really incredible. Two and a half hours, we will know if North Carolina makes it to the Elite Eight. I was talking with a fan a little bit ago, and I said something along the lines of, if North Carolina wins. And she looked at me, she gave me that, that, that stare, and said, take that back. When we win. Fair enough. We're live in Philadelphia. I'm Kevin Kennedy, WFMY News 2.